Hi everyone, I'm Nidhi from Group CS91 and today we are presenting our observations made on the topic Twitter data for predicting stocks using NLP. Stock prices rise and fall every second of the day due to variations in collaboration between the sellers and the buyers which can lead to gain or loss of money for both parties. The stock market is largely driven by new information in the form of Facebook posts, tweets on Twitter or simply discussions by people on various other websites. So our idea is to classify these extracted tweets based on stock movements, tweets that have negative and positive effect predominantly and predict future trends or stocks. For our proposed approach and experimentation, we looked into various articles of different topics such as NLP models, labeling techniques, machine learning models, various prediction methods, out of which few important topics are as mentioned in this slide. The use of financial stock Twitter data trained on a BERT model was introduced as FinBERT, which is a language model built out of BERT by pre-training it on financial dataset and fine-tuning the same for sentimental analysis. FinBird was able to achieve state-of-the-art on financial freeze-back dataset. Increase in model size often results in GPU-TPU memory limitations and slower training period. So to tackle this problem, Albert was introduced with two parameter reduction techniques to original pre-trained BERT. The main problem we faced was that although Twitter data were available during weekdays and weekends, the stock values were absent for weekends and other holidays when the market is closed. Therefore, in order to look for missing values, we looked into an article named Sentiment Analysis of Twitter Data for Predicting Stock Market Moments for our labeling techniques used in this project. This approximation works most of the time very well except in cases of unexpected rapidly rise and fall. So another article that is evaluation of sentimental analysis in finance talks about various experiments using lexicon based models, machine learning classifiers, deep neural network classifiers, word encoders, contextual word encoder and Elmo which were evaluated with the combination of machine learning classifiers and deep learning classifiers and NLP transformers. The evaluations were performed on a relatively small data set of approximately 2000 sentences. Even though the data set was not large, they obtained pretty good results. So we have adopted most of these methods and techniques in our experimentation. For the project, multiple data sets have been used. The main data set used for finding the stock prediction on is stock tweets for fan companies. Fan companies include the top five famous companies in the world, that is Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. We have experimented with data for one year duration and two years duration. The presentation is focused on presenting results with one year data. The results with two years data is as shown in the appendix. So for one year data, the total number of records in the FAN data set is 514,353. Since this dataset was unlabeled and there was no gold standard available for it, we labeled it using the Yahoo Finance data which contains stock related prices. For pre-training our proposed new model, three datasets are used, Routers, AG News and Book Corpus. Routers is a benchmark dataset used for text classification and consists of a total of 21,579 documents. AG News is a collection of news articles for different categories out of which we selected the articles related to business. And Book Corpus is a collection of text taken from Wikipedia. For our project, we have used 10% of this dataset. To label the stock tweets dataset, we have in total three techniques. Using the binary classification technique, the close price of the day the tweet was posted is compared with the close price of the previous day. If the current day's close price is more than the previous day's close price, all the tweets of that day are labeled as positive. If it is less than the previous day's close price, the tweets are labeled as negative. For the percentage change labeling technique, the percentage change is calculated between the close price of the day the tweet was posted and the close price of the previous day. If this change is more positive and more than 0.5, the tweets of the day are labeled as positive. If this change is negative and more than 0.5, the tweets of the day are labeled as negative. 
and if the change is between this range that is between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5 the tweets of the day are labeled as neutral we have used this technique to further divide our labeling approaches where we consider all the three labels in the first sub approach and then only the positive and negative labels in the second sub approach the data characteristics using these three techniques are shown in the pie charts using binary classification 55% of the tweets are labeled as positive and 45% of the tweets are labeled as negative using percentage change with two labels technique 58.3% tweets are positive and the remaining are negative using percentage change with three labels technique 46.5% tweets are positive 33.1% tweets are negative and the remaining are neutral now let's talk about fin albert model architecture to pre-train the Finn Albert model, we considered three external datasets. Book Corpus and AG News are provided by the Hugging Face. AG News consists of more than 1 million news articles collected from more than 2,000 news sources, which consists of news from various topics. And for our pre-training, we filtered to use only business news. Book Corpus is used to build the English vocab. We used 10% of the total Book Corpus dataset. To further build the financial vocab of our Finn Albert model, we use the Routers dataset, which consists of about 21,000 documents. Dataset from these three sources were cleaned and used to create the vocab for pre-training. For fine-tuning, we use the tweets of fan companies provided by the client. We cleaned and classified the tweets using our three labeling techniques. To fine-tune the Finn Albert model, we split the dataset to train and test, 90% for train and 10% for test. While fine-tuning, we use the pre-trained Finn Albert model with the Albert-based tokenizer. To further experiment with the Finn Albert model, we use the embeddings of fine-tuned Finn Albert model in the PyLSTM layer and further added the additive attention layer over it. Similar to fine-tuning step, we use the Albert based tokenizer. To further experiment it, we evaluated the performance without the attention layer and observed that there was no significant change in the performance. Since attention works well with the sequences of input and while labeling, we have not taken text sequences into consideration due to which attention does not improve the performance. Now, Let's look at the model results. After labeling the structured data, we train different models. As mentioned earlier, in this presentation, we are focusing on the results of one year FANG data. We would be looking at the F1 score for all models as it considers how the data is distributed and works well for imbalanced classes. The accuracy of all models is shown in the appendix. We train three types of models, the transformer-based, who are embeddings with neural networks, and traditional machine learning models which make use of TFID effect riser for feature extraction. As we can see, for the data labeled by a percentage change with two labels, the transformer-based model BERT performs the best with F1 score as 59%. In word embeddings with neural networks, FastText with MyLSTM performs well with F1 score as 54%. And in traditional models, NaivePy's model performs the best with F1 score of 58%. Overall, in this technique, BERT model gives the best result. Now, on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the results of percentage change with three labels technique. Here, NaivePy's model outperforms all other models with F1 score as 41%. While in transformer-based model, the BERT model gives the best result with F1 score as 33%. In neural networks, mostly all models perform equally with F1 score as 21%. On the right side of the screen, we see the results of all models with data labeled using binary classification method. Here also, NaivePy's model gives the best result when compared to other models with F1 score as 58%, and logistic regression method gives the second best result with F1 score as 55%. In word embeddings with neural networks, word 2 vec with BiLSTM performs well with F1 score as 56%, while in transformer-based methods, BERT and FinBERT perform equally with F1 score as 54%. Overall, for each model, the percentage change labeling technique with two labels gave the best result when compared to the other two techniques. BERT performs the best among the transformer models, while knife bias is the best in traditional models. TFID effectorizer performed better than the other embedding techniques tested. 
Additionally, FinAlbert gives less accuracy as labeling is done based on stock price changes and not the sentiments. We also predicted the labels for messages of last two weeks of stock width data for each of the FAN company. The result for one company Apple is shown below which contains the messages, the actual label and the predicted label. Let's move ahead with conclusion and reflection for the project. We experimented on FANG dataset with various state-of-the-art models like BERT, FinBERT, embeddings with BioLSTM and CNN. Traditional machine learning models like Naive Bias, Logistic Regression and Random Forest Classification were also experimented with. We learned that self-attention based transformer models performed lower than expected because labeling was not done based on sentiments but stock price changes. Currently, due to hardware limitations, pre-training is done using the small data set. If pre-training is done using a larger data set, we will be able to create a bigger vocabulary, which in turn would help us optimizing the FinAlbert results. We've experimented with different learning rates for one year data of FANG companies. Also, currently, we were not able to experiment much with different epochs, but if the number of epochs is increased for fine-tuning, high results can be achieved. We also experimented by fine-tuning financial phrase bank dataset. This dataset is also used in FinBert for testing performance of their own model. It consists of 2,264 English sentences selected from financial news. These sentences are manually annotated by 16 professionals. The learning after fine-tuning our Finn Albert with financial phrase bank was that we were able to achieve 83% F1 score. This helped us infer that if we trained Finn Albert with sentiment-based labels, higher accuracy would be achieved. For our future work, as mentioned before, pre-training on larger dataset will be optimizing FinAlbert result. Next, labeling technique with previous week close price can also be experimented with. And lastly, prediction of the stock movement based on labels predicted by FinAlberts can also be achieved. To end with, all our further experimentations, graphs and results can be found in the appendix section below. It has been a great learning for our team. Thank you.